All right, what's up animators? So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this animation right here. Maybe it's a shield from a certain character from a certain movie, a patriotic character, whatever whatever you want it to be. So it's a symbol and we're using the classic tween here. All right, so I'm gonna pause this one here. We'll make a new one. Wow, oh, new, bam. All right, so here's the presets. I'm okay with this default one. You wanna make something for social media. Here's one for Instagram. And here's these other ones for uh, Facebook. All right, so create. So uh, if you like, you can change the color of the stage. You can click right here and choose a different color for it. I think I'll uh, just leave it as is. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'll make a circle using the oval tool. I'm gonna click on the oval tool here. And then I'm gonna choose the colors for it. So here's the stroke, here's the, the fill. So for the stroke, which is the outside color of the border, I think I'm gonna go with the red. I'm gonna go red, the inside, the fill, I'll leave it as blue. And I'm gonna increase the stroke size here a bit. Let me try five, see how that looks. Oops, not 150. And then I'm gonna hold on the shift key and hold on the left mouse button and drag out and make a circle here. Cool, that looks good. Let me go here, selection tool. I'm gonna double click it and maybe change the change the, uh, the stroke here. Let me check out 10, see how that looks. There you go, I like 10 a little better. So I'm gonna click out of there. All right, there's my circle, and I'm gonna make a star so I can put put it in the center here. Star tool right here, polystar tool. And I'm over here to options. If uh, you select the polystar tool, you can see options over here in the properties panel. Just click on another tool and then come back and click on polystar tool again, and it should appear. It's because something else is selected. All right, so options. And the style here should be star, so I want a star. I'm gonna make that a five-pointed star. If I wanna add more points to the star, I can increase that number. And star point size is how pointy I want the star to be. So five, I'm okay with that. So I made okay. And the color, I don't want it. I don't want. I do not want a stroke on it. So no border. And I want the star to be white. So I'm clicking here and choose a white color. There we go. I'm gonna hold on the left mouse button and drag out. I'm making this next to the uh, circle there, not on it. I'm just holding on the left mouse button. You hold on shift, and it'll give me a little bit of better control. So you can try to adjust it. It'll snap to like a corner. Oh, there we go. And let go. Cool. I can't see it, but I know it's there. I'm going to go to selection tool right here and just double click where it's at. There it is. I got it. Because it's, it's white on white, so I can't see it. If I change the color of the stage, then obviously I'll be able to see it. And double click. There it is. Boom. All right. And I'm going to drag it over here. And notice has that mesh pattern there. And try to guess where it's at. That looks good there. Try to put it in the middle somewhat, just eyeballing it. And I'm okay with that. I'll leave it like that. All right. So now I'm going to drag select the whole thing. Select the whole thing. You can also um, hit control A. Select everything inside your stage or your frame for that stage. Or you can just click on the frame itself and that'll select everything there. So the thing I want to do right now is select everything. So I got it all selected. Now I'm going to convert it to a symbol. So symbol, it's uh, a separate graphic that you can reuse. And that's what I want this to be. I'm going to make it spin. I'll create a, a looping animation where it spins. So when I move it across the stage, it'll spin. All right. So I got the whole thing selected. Now right click and select convert to symbol. And there's a shortcut right there, F8. Hit the function A key. It'll also give you the same option there. Converts to symbol. Boom. All right. So here's my name. I get to name it. Uh, if you're going to use a space, make sure you use underscore. So the name here is going to be star star shield underscore actually star 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 wheel i'm gonna name it star wheel there we go avoid any uh any legal pressure from marvel or disney right here for type movie clip change the movie clip right here i want that it be graphic make it a graphic and then for registration the one in the center should be black not one of these ones in the corner these little dots make sure it's a center one the center one is black and that's kind of like the rotation point. If this one's black, then it's going to pivot from there. I wanted to pivot and rotate from the center there. Cool. So I give it a name, underscore for spaces. Or you can just not have any spaces. You can just do that. And type for graphic. Make sure that's graphic. Make sure this is graphic right here for type. Then OK. Cool. So now it's a symbol. It has this blue outline around it, this blue border, blue boundary box. And there's a pivot point there in the center, the registration. All right. So I want to create a looping animation, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm gonna double click it. Two left clicks with the selection tool. Cool, now I'm in editing mode. And I can tell I'm in editing mode because there's the name of my symbol. And there's this arrow here that I can get out of that. So now I'm out of it. And while I'm here, I can't really do much changes to it. So if I click it, 
it doesn't give me the option here to change the color of it. So I'm gonna double click it. And now it's back like a shape object. See, I can choose the colors here for the different parts, different elements of my object. As you can see there, you see the stuff changing there in the properties panel. All right, so what I wanna do is make this loop. So here I am in my starting pose, that's cool. And then at 10, it's gonna flip over 90 degrees. So I'm gonna right click in there, enter keyframe. I'm going to go over here to the transform tool, free transform tool. Now I got these little handles here. And so the so from frame one can copy the way all the way over to 10 and I have a key event here and the key event here, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. So with free transform tool, everything there selected, hover your mouse over one of the, uh, the corner handles there, your mouse cursor, and you should get a little loop icon, not the double sided arrow. Cause if you go right on it, you're going to get the double sided arrow. You want the loop icon to so be a little bit outside of it. Hold down the left mouse button and drag over. I'm going clockwise. There we go. So make sure you keep the direction the same. So either you're going clockwise or counterclockwise. So I'm gonna go clockwise here. And there you go, just snap at 90 degrees. So let me do that again. So I'm gonna go with this corner here. Hold down the left mouse button and just drag over 90 degrees. There we go. Cool, so that's at 10. And I'm gonna go here to frame 20. Right click in there, insert keyframe. The whole thing selected. I still have free transform tool. I'm going to rotate it another 90 degrees. There we go. Cool. And then back over here at 30, right click, enter keyframe, another 90 degrees. There we go. And I just need one more to complete the rotation. So right click at 40, enter keyframe, and rotate there. Bam. All right. So I'm at the play button here so I can see it. All right. It was kind of rotating. So I'm going to go here, activate the looping thing. Just so I can see the loop and uh, it'll loop my animation. I activated it and right now it's only going to loop this segment here. I'm going to pause that and make it a little wider. I'm going to hover my mouse over one of the ends here. So I get the double side arrow and I can drag it out. There we go. Play button. And there we go. Spinning. You can also make some rims. Remember the spinner rims. There we go. Or fidget spinner. Rims spinning. There we go. Bam. All right. That's cool. I'm going to go back to my main scene over here. There we go. So there's my uh, my symbol, and now I'm gonna create a class like and move it across the stage. So I'm gonna right click on frame 20. So very important that you exit editing mode. So let me double click it again, selection tool. We'll click, very important you get out of here, hit that back arrow, and you're out of there. You'll notice the change here in the timeline. There you go, so there's a change there because that's no longer happening. All right, I'm gonna go to here to frame 20. I'm gonna right click in there, enter a keyframe. There we go, you already saw like a spin there, sort of. Let me turn off the looping thing. There we go, bam. All right, let me right click in here, create a classic tween. And hit the play button there, bam, there we go. Play button, there we go. So I wanna go across the stage, so I'm gonna go back to frame 20. And in frame 20, I'm gonna move it over here to the other side of the stage. There we go, so play button, and there we go. Boom, spinning across the stage. And now when I go down here, so at frame 40, I'm going to be here. At frame 60, I'm going to be here. And then at frame 80, I'm going to be back over here. So every 20th frame, it's going to be hit in a corner. So I'm going to right click 40, insert keyframe, and then drag it directly down there. And then I'm going to right click frame 60, insert keyframe, and drag it across the other side. There we go. And then in 80, I can try to put it exactly where it's at, but so it looks like a clean loop. I'm just going to copy and paste the first frame here. So I'm going to left click in there one time and right click it, copy frames. And now I'm gonna right click on 80 here and select paste frames. There we go. All right, so there's only a classic twin here in the first 19 frames. After that, I still gotta insert the, uh, the, the, the classic twin. There you go, so it kinda of hits the corners and it spins there. So I wanna get the movement across the, the, different, the different sections here with the key frames. So I'm gonna right click here somewhere between 20 and 39. So between this segment of keyframes, so between each section, right click, create classic tween, and then the next bracket here, the next section, right click, create classic tween, and then right click again, create classic tween. So in between these segments of the uh, the keyframe. So now I hit the play button, it's gonna spin all the way across, I mean go a loop, and drag this over here, make it wide enough for the whole animation, play button, and there we go, spinning. So obviously here, the um, from left to right here, and then down there, the rotation is uh, accurate. And then after, down here, just uh, moonwalking its way back. There we go. 
Cool, it's a little fast, but there it is. So now I'm gonna play around with the ease. So I'm gonna pause this and to change the ease. Ease is kind of like um, like a car when it when it, when you first start the car, when you first start moving from the stop to a go, from stop to go. Your car has to accelerate. It doesn't constantly just instantly jump from zero to uh, 40 miles per hour. You have to uh, slowly accelerate to 40 miles per hour, unless you step on the gas and you go a little faster. And then you, when you come up to a stop, you uh, let go of the gas, you start pressing on the brake, and you slowly start to slow down, so you start to decelerate. So that's uh, a little more natural, how things actually move, they accelerate, and then decelerate. So accelerate to start moving, and then decelerate to come to a stop. But some machines are um, constantly having the same speed, it's like something mechanical would have a constant speed. So let me go over here, and we'll uh, add some ease in here. So select the frame between 1 and 19, between 1 and 20, click in there somewhere. And then your properties panel should give you information for that frame. See, there's frame right there. And there, so depending on what's selected, your properties panel will give you information about it. All right, so any of these frames will do because it's going to be for this whole tween right here. Click on the word classic tween over here. Click in there. And right now this is linear. So the speed is constant. I'm going to go over to, I'm going to go with the ease out or ease in. Let's see, which one am I doing first? I'm going to do an ease out first. Ease out. So I'm going to click right here on Classic Ease, and I'm going to select Ease Out. There we go. And you can see the curve here just changed. I want this to be more obvious, so I want a uh, quint right here. So now it's going to accelerate really fast and then slow down. So this is like a percentage, so about 90% of the frames are going to be represented in, in this uh, shorter uh, time span. And then it'll start to slow down there. So by doing that alone, it's not going to change it. i got to double-click it. There we go. So double-click the quint part, and then it'll change it. All right, so that's that's there from frame 1 to 19 for that first tween. Then after that, there's no tween at all. See, so by clicking here, classic ease. Sorry, the error is a tween. There's just no ease at all. So this one has the, uh, the quint ease out. And then these over here are just a regular classic ease, linear ease. So let's see how it starts now. So you just zoom across the face. There we go. Side effects, you're going to have to do those yourself, just like me. There we go, bam, bam, bam. All right, pause that, make this wider. And now add another ease at the bottom section here. I'm gonna click inside one of those uh, frames between 40 and 59. And I'm gonna click on classic ease. And this I'm gonna ease in. And then double click quint, because these other ones are just not gonna make it as obvious. So that's why I'm going with quint there. All right, so we just sped up. And now it's going to slow down at the stop. There we go. Let's see. There we go. There we go. All right. So I think I was wording it backwards. Right here, it um, yes, yeah, speeds up. It starts off slow, then it goes really fast. Whereas the other section over here does the opposite of that. The first segment here. So it's going really fast and then it slows down, it decelerates. So decelerating at the stop and then the bottom section here uh, accelerates, goes really fast at the end. And there it is, bam. Make this whole thing wider. And there we go, I'm not doing any tweens from the vertical movement because it's, um, it's too short. It's not, you, won't, you won't notice it as much. All right, so I'm gonna save this. File, save as, FLA file, cool. And then this one will star spinner. Star spinner, save. Now I'm gonna export this, get a video file, file, export, export video or export uh, movie video, any of those will do. And then this can be a .mov file, it could be AVI, JPEG, MP4, sorry, not JPEG, but um, MP4. Any of those will work for the video file export. And there it is. And then here's my uh, final product. A little choppy, but there it is. You can see some spinning there. And then the easing here is what um, really kind of gives it that choppy look. It's just moving really fast, trying to catch up to it. But if I go over here, hit Control Enter, get the preview one. It looks a lot neater. But there you go. Hope you guys liked it.